ओम शांति दिस इज द साकार मुरली ऑफ फोर ऑफ अप्रैल 2023 एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन बिकम ट्रस्टीज ऑफ योर बॉडीज एंड ऑल बॉडली रिलेशंस वाइल लुकिंग आफ्टर एवरी वन डू नॉट हैव अटैचमेंट टू एनी वन क्वेश्चन वट मिस्टेक्स डज माया मेक यू मेक इन दिस ड्रामा सो डेट द फादर दैन हैज़ टू कम टू फ्री यू फ्रॉम मेकिंग दोज मिस्टेक्स आंसर द फर्स्ट मिस्टेक इज टू कंसिडर द एलिमेंट ऑफ ब्रह्म टू बी द सुप्रीम सोल to have yoga with the elements is false your sins cannot be absolved by doing that secondly because of living in hindustan instead of saying that you belong to the deity religion you say that you belong to the hindu religion and that is a big mistake because of that mistake religion has no power left the father has now come to free you from making mistakes song who has come with ankle bells to the door of my mind om shanti who has come to you children only the mother and father would come to the children it is sung of them you are the mother and father and we are your children you are now sitting here with the feeling of being children the supreme father the supreme soul sits here and explains to you children i am incorporeal even brahma vishnu and shankar cannot say this only the incorporeal supreme father the supreme soul can say this through this body you know that i do not have a physical or a subtle body it is souls who speak through their bodies the incorporeal supreme father the supreme soul sits here and teaches you children when a new person hears this he would ask how could this be possible yes god shiva speaks through the body of brahma shiva baba doesn't have a body of his own So where did all these BKs come from? Those Brahmins do not call themselves Brahma Kumars. Why do you say that you are BKs? You can prove that the father of Brahma is the supreme father, the supreme soul Shiva. He has three children: Brahma, Vishnu, and Shankar. So Shiva Baba creates the mouth born creation through the mouth of Brahma and changes them from human beings into deities. There are many people in this world. There are many types of religion and caste. Gujarati, Punjabi, UP, Christians, Buddhist, Maharashtrian, etc. There are the names of so many caste in the golden age there won't be so many religions or caste there won't be many languages or many religions they say that there should be one kingdom in the golden age there is just the deity religion the father says i come and establish the one original eternal deity religion it is remembered that it didn't take god long to change human beings into deities deities exist in the golden age they don't exist in the silver age there is the warrior clan in the silver age it is written in the scriptures that brahmins emerged from the mouth of brahma the brahmins were given teachings and the deity and warrior religions were established through them all other religions are to be destroyed the father explains sweet children 
I am the true father of you souls. I never change. You always remember me in context of the father. Devotees remember God because no one except God can give these teachings. There are now innumerable religions. You cannot make a list of them. There are so many human beings. The father comes and changes human beings into deities. He would not make everyone that. All of these matters have to be understood. The father says, no one except I can give this explanation. The father sits here and educates you children for the golden age. He says, children, you can now make effort and claim as high a status in heaven as you want. Each human being makes so much effort for his livelihood. Anyone who studies well can claim a high status. Here too the father says, innocent one and those without any virtue can also claim the San Dynasty kingdom of the world by making effort. Baba has explained, at this time all of you Draupadis call out, Baba, protect us. They then saw Sri Krishna sitting up above and Draupadi continuing to receive, continuing to receive saris and thus being protected. However, there wasn't anything like that. All of that refers to this time. The father says, I save you from being stripped for 21 births. No one can take you to take your clothes off. This is a family path. Both have to become pure. People have become used to indulging in vice for half a cycle and so they are unable to break that habit. The father comes and saves you from being stripped. This takes a lot of effort while you are observing purity. Maya attacks you. Because of poison, poor innocent ones are assaulted a great deal. They still have a lot of attachment to their children. Here, you have to become complete destroyers of attachment. In the beginning, when the Bhatti was first created, many had courage and came running. They saw that they were being beaten and a lot of upheaval was created in their homes. And so they instantly renounced everything. Even sannyasis run away. At first, they too are disturbed by those whom they remember. It takes time to become a destroyer of attachment. Because they don't have any aim or objective in their attainment. They don't receive any power at all. You receive power. How can they receive the power of purity? Only the one Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, is the ocean of purity. Only from Him is this inheritance received. Those people don't have yoga with the Father. They have yoga with the Brahma element and so they are unable to become completely pure. It is wrong to have yoga with the Brahma element. Look. You have to imbibe these points very well. You have made many mistakes. Those who live in Hindustan say that their religion is the Hindu religion. That too is a mistake. To call the Brahma element the supreme soul is also a mistake. This too is fixed in the drama. The father comes and explains. Maya makes you make these mistakes. Baba comes and frees you from making mistakes. There was just one religion and one language in the golden age. It isn't that those who live in Vrindavan brackets land of Krishna are called Vrindavani brackets residents of Vrindavan. There is just one religion there. The father says I come and make you into deities once again. 
you become the masters of heaven the father creates heaven and so why are be the masters of hell in the new world we will definitely be the masters of heaven at that time all the rest of the souls will be in the supreme abode all of these things are now in your intellects the more yoga you have the more knowledge you will be able to imbibe you mustn't have attachment to anyone give sustenance while considering yourselves to be trustees this is the father's valuable property we are trustees of these bodies and all of our bodily relations there are also test if someone falls ill or has some sorrow you have to take care of that one this is any way the world of sorrow say baba doesn't have any sorrow he is the trustee when something happens to someone it would be said he settled his karmic account and went and took another body so why should it matter to us so many people will leave their bodies would sip baba feel sorrow there is greater happiness in that i enable you children to leave those dirty old bodies and take you back home there is no question of sorrow there is no question of regret we remember our sweetest father while walking and moving around we are making preparations to go to the supreme abode while remembering baba we will save our bodies it happens like this for many sanyasis while just sitting somewhere they think that they are going to go to the brahm element and merge into it they then leave their bodies while sitting in that consciousness baba tells you from his experience while breathing exercise they disappear it isn't that that soul will go to the element of brahm the soul leaves a body and immediately takes another it isn't that anyone goes to the land of nirvana nor does the light merge into the light everyone definitely has to play their parts the father says i come when all the actors are present because i am the bridegroom of all the brides all the brides will depart and follow me i have come to take everyone back home the play is now ending it now depends on how much effort each one makes only the one father is the bestower of salvation the father has now come and is explaining when and how he comes i then take all of you souls back home i make you flowers beautiful from dirty only those who are beautiful will surrender themselves they saw shri krishna abducting queens however why did he abduct them this doesn't refer to shri krishna it was baba who liberated you in order to teach you easy raj yoga and make you into the emperors and empresses of heaven you have had visions of becoming future princes and princesses you know that you will truly become peacock feathered crowned princes and princesses you are now brahmins prajapita brahma has been remembered and therefore his children become brahma kumars and kumaris all of these things have to be understood and explained a kingdom is being established so you should all make very good effort baba doesn't give you any difficulty he simply says o oh souls remember me your father and your inheritance you will remember this much in order to become the masters of the world become soul conscious it is when you become body conscious that maya punches you a game has been created where maya does one thing and god does something else you see in a practical way how so many children belong to the father 
and then turn their faces away they then defame him they become those who were amazed by this knowledge when they heard it they related it to others and then they ran away they defame the true father the true teacher and the sadguru on seeing them people ask how they could devour's god so those who defame him in this way cannot claim a highest on high status it refers to this time some children need to make a lot of effort to become destroyers of attachment many are not able to break their attachment baba says you also have to look after your children continue to remind them of seb baba too those who are good will continue to remember seb baba the father explains even the government wants purity so explain to them we are making a promise of for, sorry we are making a promise for purity in order to bring purity to bharat we will definitely make bharat into heaven daughters can uplift their parents the father is called the lord of the poor all the wealth and prosperity of the wealthy is to turn to dust the wealthy need a lot of power because they have joint stock so how can they surrender what belongs to them the father is remembered as the lord of the poor acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharana number 1 keep your aim and objective in your intellect and in order to become pure become a complete destroyer of attachment remove your attachment from old bodies second while walking and moving around stay in remembrance of the father don't have any regrets about anything never do anything that would cause the father to be defamed blessing may you be immortal by being constantly loving and cooperative and have the title of an imperishable jewel those who are constantly loving and cooperative in the task of establishment receive the title of an imperishable jewel they are such imperishable jewels that no one can ever seek them nor can any obstruction stop them only such imperishable jewels have the blessing of being immortal they are real gold and the father's companions they consider the father's task to be their own because they constantly stay with him they become imperishable slogan if you have the right inculcation of purity every action will be accurate and yukti yukt slogan if you have the right inculcation of purity every action will be accurate and yukti yukt om shanti